A company that makes refrigerators facing some new lawsuits now because the fridges apparently just keep dying. Our Matt Gebhardt reported last December on these fridge issues, and he joins us now with a follow-up. Matt? Yeah, Sean and Mark, the company is LG. It's a major brand sold by major stores. But a large number of people who bought the fridges say that after just a couple of years, they just stopped keeping cold. This is bad. When Dave Pickle opened his three-year-old LG refrigerator, he was not hit with that customary cold air blast. His compressor had failed. He trashed all his food and then turned to LG for repairs with the fridge still under warranty. Kind of turned into a pain in the butt. That's because between trying to find available parts and a service person available to do the job, it was not a quick process. It was like a full month. Yeah, and it was ridiculous because we've got a little mini fridge downstairs and that's where we were keeping, you know, milk and that was all we could keep. And worse than that is it was just before Thanksgiving. Pickles frustration, not unique. So many people have been having compressor issues that LG is now facing a class action lawsuit. The suit cites several examples of jilted customers and also alleges that LG knows its product is defective. The more uh, appliance places I called, the more I could see that this was a bigger issue than just my fridge. The lawsuit also cites this Git Gephardt investigation from last December in which we reported that so many compressors were failing that repair workers here in Utah were unable to keep up. For that report, LG told me it was, quote, hiring more LG technicians to assist customers more quickly and effectively. As for the new lawsuit, an LG spokesperson declined to comment, writing, quote, as a matter of policy, LG does not generally comment on pending legal matters. I spoke to a lawyer for the California firm that is bringing the class action lawsuit. He told me that for now it is being brought on behalf of people out of California, but that they are taking complaints from affected customers in other states and may expand it to a na nationwide class action suit. If you are an affected customer would like to contact the lawyers, information for how to do that attached to this story on our website, KUTV.com. If you got something you want me to investigate, give me a call. My number, 801-839-1250, or you can email me, Gephardt at KUTV.tv.